morning. Today is Thursday, April 16th, 2015. Ex-NFL star Aaron Hernandez has been convicted of first-degree murder. I'm Stephanie Malconian. And I'm Tyson Whiting. Want to make a political statement? Land your driver cops on the Capitol lawn. Your CSN News starts now. Yesterday, after six days of deliberation, jurors, jurors convicted former New England Patriots star Aaron Hernandez of, degree to, of murder in the first degree. He was sentenced to life in prison without the opportunity for parole. Hernandez will serve at least the initial part of his sentence only a few miles from where he played football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. The verdict followed a nine-week trial. Hernandez was accused of joining two co-defendants in driving a man to an industrial park where he was executed. A Florida postal worker who piloted a gyrocopter onto the U.S. Capitol lawn to call attention to his belief that campaign finance laws are too weak is a patriot who first came up with the idea about a year ago. According to a friend, Doug Hughes, 61, called his friend on Wednesday and said he was in the D.C. area and ready to take off and fly to the Capitol. The gyrocopter landed about half a mile block from the Capitol building. Hughes steered his tiny aircraft onto the Capitol's west lawn after flying through restricted airspace around the National Mall, police said. He claims he was trying to spotlight corruption in Washington, D.C. with the stunt. A bill that would force people to submit Colorado's DNA database, even for misdemeanors, is being heard in Denver. Supporters say it's as simple as a cotton swab and actually easier than getting fingerprinted. The bill would require people convicted of misdemeanors like assault, theft, and child abuse to provide DNA, along with the felons who already do. New York already takes saliva swabs upon conviction in any misdemeanor and reported that it's helped solve 200 murders and 600 rapes. The bill in Colorado would add up to 2,000 more DNA samples to the state database, which are in the state database forever. We'll be right back after these messages. Come out for a night with the stars and not the Hollywood kind. Honolulu Farms will be hosting Nampa's 2015 prom. The theme is Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night. Join us on April 18th from 8 to 11 p.m. at Honolulu Farm in Eagle. Honolulu Farm is up Highway 44 on Moon Valley Road. Much like the great piece of art, the stars will align to make this a great night. So get ready and ask your date if they're ready to Vincent Van Gogh to prom. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression, so make it a good one. Visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 65 with a low of 33, sunny. Tomorrow's high is 72 with a low of 44, sunny. The University of Idaho College of Art and Architecture announces their annual Summer Design Week to be held June 21st through the 27th. They are gearing up for another exciting program and look forward to sharing the experience with students who are considering pursuing a degree in architecture, interior design, landscape architecture, studio art and design, and virtual technology and design. Please see your counselor if you are interested in attending. The social dance program is going to have a spring soyer in the Columbia High School foyer slash cafeteria on April 24th from 7 to 10 p.m. It is a requirement of all social dance students to participate and demonstrate their abilities. Guests under 18 must be pre-approved as this is not a school dance. It should not be a night of well-mannered, this will be, it should be a night of well-mannered frivolity. The cost is $7 at the door, so come and watch, even join in waltzing your way around the floor as well. Do you want to be a part of the 2015-2016 NHS dance team? Tryout packets are now available in the office. Pick one up and see Mrs. Lindsay with any questions about the upcoming tryouts. Tryouts will be May 6th through the 8th from 315 to 515 and are open to all upcoming NHS students. The Sports Medicine Club 3-on-3 three -three basketball tournament is next Wednesday. Come and sign up your team up in the athletic training room. Team of three is $20 and a team of four is 18 to play. Staff, we still need your participation too, and it's only $3 for you to play. Prizes include a $100 Dutch Bros gift card and a pizza dinner for Idaho Pizza Company. Are you ready for great food, music, and activities? Nampa's High Cultural Celebration Day is coming soon. There will be food vendors, music, mariachi bands, dances, jalapeno contests, and much more. This celebration will take place on May 1st during all three lunches. If you want to enter the jalapeno contest, ask Sam Hendricks or Aiden Estrada starting today during lunchtime to get a permission slip. Also, don't forget to dress with traditional clothing in order to enter a raffle and win prizes. Let's get ready for a great celebration and get ready to party. Today's SAT word of the day is inhibit, which means to reduce or prevent. You could use it this way. Not eating breakfast can inhibit how well your brain works. 
Thanks for watching. And remember, if the news breaks, we'll, we'll fix, fix it. it.